Hey everybody, welcome to my very first director ranking list. Yes, um, I've been wanting to do this for a while where I direct uh, films from certain directors and I finally did. Uh, this is my first one. This is uh, my ranking for Quentin Tarantino's films. Yes, Quentin Tarantino is one of my all-time favorite directors. He's probably my favorite, either him or David Lynch. And I will be doing David Lynch also very soon. Um, yeah, I've been promising this video and along with Kevin Smith's ranking for a while now. And finally, Tarantino's is here. I'll do Kevin Smith very soon. I'll definitely be the next uh, director ranking I'll do. Um, but yeah... Um, so anyways, Tarantino, this is, uh, only his, his, uh, films that he directed, not the ones he wrote, like True Romance and Natural Born Killers won't be on here because he didn't direct them. Also, um, and also films like, uh, Four Rooms where he did direct parts of, but he didn't like, not the whole thing, you know, as a bunch of other directors too. And from Dust Till Dawn, he didn't direct that that was robert rodriguez and not sin city either because he did have a guest directing uh he, he did i think directed a scene or two but but he didn't direct the whole thing again that was robert rodriguez but um right wasn't it robert rodriguez yeah i'm pretty sure it was um yeah it had to be um anyways so yeah just his his nine films that he's directed Yes, I'm counting Kill Bill as one film. I know there's like two types of people in the world. There are ones who think that Kill Bill is one movie and one, and some that think that Kill Bill's two movies. I think it's one. So, so yeah. Um, anyways, so yeah, nine of his films, all of them ranked from my least favorite to favorite. And I also want to say that just keep in mind, these are my personal favorites. So if your favorite, you know, isn't higher or whatever, I apologize. That's just, this is just my personal opinions. I know there's going to be some that will probably hate the fact that my number nine is my number nine. You'll see what it is in a minute. But um, it's just my personal opinion. So. Anyways, um, let's let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Uh, Tarantino's films ranked from my least favorite to favorite. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, all right, starting at number nine. Number nine. Okay, so number nine, like I said, is where some people are probably going to hate me for because this is a very beloved Tarantino film, and and. Uh, some might even say it's their it's their favorite, and if it is, good for you. But it's honestly my least favorite Tarantino film, and yes, it it is. It's Kill Bill volume volumes one and two. I'm not a big Kill Bill fan. This is actually the only Tarantino. I like all the other movies. This is the only one I'm not big into. Now, do I think it's a good movie? Yes. For sure. I mean, well, both of them, you know, of course. But like I said, I could consider it to be one movie. But Kill Bill is a good movie, for sure. And there are moments about this. There are stuff about this movie that I really enjoy. Like, well, for one, Uma Thurman's performance as uh, Beatrix. She is so good in this film. Without a doubt, she's definitely the best performance. Um, sorry if you can't see her real good, but yeah. Um Definitely the best performance in the film. Also, like the guy who played Bill, I'm not really sure who the actor is, but I really liked him. And this movie does have some good music, some really good music, and some of the fighting scenes are pretty cool. And uh, it does have a good story. I, I will give it that. And uh, and it's also a little bit, a little funny too. It, there's some good humor in it, and I should say that. I think every single one of Tarantino's films are funny. Like, they're all comedies to me. Like, even Tarantino himself has said that all of his films are comedies. Like, some people have asked him if he'll ever do a comedy, and he's like, oh, well, all my films are comedies. And that's true, because every single one has some good humor in it, you know? And they're all really funny. Um, yeah, and Kill Bill's even funny. Um, but... I think the main reason why I'm not into Kill Bill too much 
is because I think it's mostly the dialogue. Like this has the like probably the least interesting dialogue in a Tarantino film, and I love Tarantino's dialogue in this films. So I love it. But this one, I don't know. I'm not too into the dialogue in Kill Bill. So I think that's the main reason. Also, uh, there are some fight scenes I kind of think go on for a little too long. But, you know, it, I don't hate Kill Bill. And um, I just barely dislike it, to be honest. Like, I almost like Kill Bill. It's just not quite up there for me. But I like all of his other films. And uh, anyways, Kill Bill is my number nine. So again, I apologize if you love Kill Bill. If it's your favorite, good for you. It's just not my favorite. So just please try not to be, you know, offended or whatever. So it's just my personal opinion. Okay. All right. Yeah. That was number nine, Kill Bill. Okay. Number, my number eight. All right. Now, the rest of these, like I said, I do like. Okay. My number eight is um, a film that's like now getting love. Uh, like whenever it came out, it a lot of people didn't like it, and even critics, I don't think, cared for it too much. But now it's it's a cult classic now, and I gotta say, when I first saw this movie, I did not like it. But I've seen it three times now. Well, I mean, it, I've seen it three times. This film. Like, the second time, I like I said, the first time I didn't like it. Second time, I liked it a lot better. And then the third time, I liked it even more than that. So, anyways, my number eight is Jackie Brown. Yeah, like I said, Jackie Brown, you know, it, it um, people are starting to love it now. And there's actually a lot of Tarantino fans that might would even say that it's their favorite uh, Tarantino film. And I understand. It's a very good film. It really is. Um, like, and I love the performances. Pam Greer. My favorites are Pam Greer, Sam Jackson, and Robert Forrester. I love them all in this film. And also, like, Michael Keaton and um, and Bridget Fonda and Robert De Niro. They're all great, too. But I really like those other three. Um, Pam Greer, Sam Jackson, and uh, Robert Forrester. They're, they're all really good in this film. And... Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a really good film. This one also kind of has a little less interesting dialogue as well. And also, it's not that... F it's probably the least funniest Tarantino film. I mean, I think there's still some humor in it, but... And there's still some funny moments in it, but it's also a little least funny. But I don't know. Um, It's just a film that I... I think the more I watch, the more I like it. So... Like, I don't know, if next time I watch it, it might even go up a little more. Who knows? But as of right now, it's my number eight, and I, I do enjoy Jackie Brown. So, yeah, uh, number eight is Jackie Brown. Yeah. Okay, number seven. My number, okay, my number seven is an, another very beloved Tarantino film. And, um, and you might get pissed off as well that this is a little low on the list. But keep in mind, I do love this movie also. I, I I do really like this film. My number eight, or wait, no, that's number... No, 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 this isn't my number seven. I'm sorry. Number eight was Jackie Brown. My number seven is Inglorious Bastards. Yes, Inglorious Bastards. I know, it should be higher. Uh, it is probably one of his best films, but... I don't, you know, I think the reason why uh, it does go down for me a little bit is because, there again, there is some least interesting dialogue in the film. And also due to the fact that about 90% 90, 90 of it is in other languages and they, have sub, and they have subtitles on. I'm not a fan of subtitles. I don't like to read subtitles while I watch a movie. And about, well, maybe 90% of this film is in subtitles like it's in Ger german and french and stuff but other than that i i really do enjoy this film i think this is a great film and um you know of course everybody loves brad pitt and uh christoph waltz you know as a uh, as aldo rain and uh what's what's christoph waltz name um hans lando yeah they're, they're all, yeah, th those characters are great. My favorite, though, is actually, uh, is, uh, Shoshana. I love Shoshana. Um, there's another picture of her. She is such a badass. I don't know, I can't pronounce the name of the actress, 
But I love her. She is just such a badass, and she's beautiful too. I, I think she's gorgeous. And I'll, well, Diane Keaton, or not Diane Keaton? What's her name? Um, Diane Keaton, Diane Kruger. Yes, yeah, she, she's she's beautiful too, and she's also pretty good. But but I love uh, actress who plays uh, Shoshana, and she's my favorite character in the film. Um, and uh, don't get me wrong, th- those others, Aldo Rain and Hans Lando, they're also great. Um, Aldo Rain is ho- played by Brad Pitt is hilarious in this film. Every time I see the the uh, Bongiorno scene, I just laugh my ass off. <laughs> but um, yeah, but yeah, Inglorious Bastards. Like I said, it goes down just a little bit because the about ninety percent of the dialogue is in you know in subtitles, but. And I don't like the read subtitles, but you know, it's still a great film. And uh, yeah, it's uh, my number seven, Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. All right. Okay, my number six. My number six is one that I think a lot of people will say is their least favorite Tarantino film, and I kind of get it because it's not it. Like a lot of them will say that it's the it's the weakest one, and it might be. It might be, but. God damn it. I love this film. I don't care. I love it. Um, and of course, it's not in my top five, but I still love this film. In fact, I even reviewed it. Like It was like one of my first reviews I ever did. That is uh, Death Proof. I love Death Proof, man. I don't care what you say. I love Death Proof. Um, it probably is his, well, I wouldn't say worst film, but his weakest film. It probably is. Um, but... I don't know, man. I um like I remember when I first saw this, I wasn't into the dialogue too much. Like I think I even said that in that review. But and go check out that review if you want. But uh, my opinion kind of has changed uh, since then, though, um, because I actually do like the dialogue. I think the dialogue's pretty entertaining, at least. I mean, I know it's a some of it's kind of a little pointless, but. But it's it's entertaining at least. I mean, Pulp Fiction had some dialogue that was kind of not needed, but it was entertaining, you know. And that's that's how I feel about this movie. Um, but yeah, Death Proof, and not really. I mean, kind of. Well, okay, the story is interesting, but it's like a I don't know. It's a little different from all of his other films, you know, in terms of story. But I still like it a lot. It's supposed to be like a thrasher um film i guess um but or thrasher slasher film (laughs) said thrasher i I don't know it's supposed to be a slasher film and i really like it and of course i gotta talk about um kurt russell as stuntman mike um (laughs) definitely maybe my favorite tarantino villain i don't know he's definitely up actually no i think i like another one We'll get to him later. Actually, I think for yeah, it'll be the next movie. I think I like him better. But, but um, but yeah, I yeah, Stuntman Mike is great, and um, also has I. There's also like uh, some of my celebrity crushes are also in this film, like Rosario Dawson and Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and also Zoe Bell. I love Zoe Bell in this film. Like this movie made me have a crush on her as well who has been in a lot of Tarantino films, uh, but she started out as a stunt double. In fact, she even uh, was, she was Uma Thurman's stunt double in uh, Kill Bill. But this, I think, might have been her first time acting in a movie. And I really liked her performance in it. She's actually playing herself. But yeah, I I really liked her in this film a lot. Um, But yeah, I really enjoy Death Proof. Oh, and I gotta say... This has my favorite Tarantino ending. I love the ending. I won't spoil, but the ending is hilarious. Yeah, and it's my favorite Tarantino ending, without a doubt. So yeah, Death Proof. I love Death Proof. It's my number six. Yeah. Okay, my number five. Um, This video might get long. I apologize for that, but I'm still going to do this. Okay, my number five. My number five is... Uh, another one that a lot of people love like they'll say it's they might say it's their favorite tarantino film 
and for good, for good reason, it's very good. I'm actually surprised that it made up my top five. Like this is also a movie that grew on me over time. Like every time I watched it, I did. I did like it whenever the first time I watched it. I did enjoy it, but but I like it more. I watch it. That is Django Unchained. Yes. Um. Sorry, you can't see it real well. Okay, Django Unchained. I love. Yeah, this movie is is awesome. I definitely understand why people love it. Um. I'm not even a big Western fan, but. I love Django and Chain. I think this is a great Western and it's just so badass. Uh, you know, of course, Jamie Foxx is awesome as Django and you also got Cor- and Christoph Waltz as Dr. King Schultz and, and Carrie Washington wasn't too bad either, but my favorite uh, performances in this film and my f- two favorite characters in the film. Um, you, I mean, you guess what it is since I haven't said them yet. That is, um, Leonardo DiCaprio as Calvin Candy and and Sam Jackson as Steven. I love them in this movie. I mean, um, well, their performances at least. I mean, the characters are shitty people, but because of the performances, you know, that's why I love them. Like, they're just so awesome. Sam Jackson is actually really hilarious in this film. And, um, and I, I just love uh, Leo's performance as well as... Calvin Candy. Calvin Candy might be my favorite Tarantino character, or villain, at least. My favorite uh, Tarantino villain. Like, his performance, oh my god, especially in the in the scene where he, you know, cuts his hand on the glass. Uh, that, that whole scene, definitely the best scene in the film, and definitely his, like, probably his best performance ever. <laughs> that scene in general, Leo. Yeah. Like, if, if, you're, if you're not a fan of Leonardo DiCaprio, like even even if you don't think he's that great of an actor, you need to see that scene. You need to watch that scene because that scene proves that he can fucking act. Um, but yeah, that I love that scene. I love I love this movie. It's just so good and um, yeah, just great story. Uh, and yeah, Jingle Chain. It's my number five. Love it. Okay, my number. F- uh, number, my number four. My number four is his most recent film. Yes, and this is a very divisive film, uh, kind of like Death Proof. Um, like, there's actually a lot of people that don't like this film. Even Tarantino fans don't like it. I don't get why. I think this movie is great. I mean, it's definitely different from all of his other films. But yeah, y- you guess what it is? It's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I love this movie, man. And um. Leo, again, Leo is awesome in this film. Now, I, I will admit that his performance as Calvin Candy was better. But I got to say, Rick Dalton is probably my favorite Tarantino character. Yes, in any movie. I I've, I said it. I love Rick Dalton. And Leo's performance as him is great. Also, of course, Brad Pitt's Cliff Booth. But... But Rick Dalton, man. <laughs> Rick fucking Dalton. <laughs> yes. I love him in this film. Also, Margot Robbie was alright. I didn't really love her performance in the film as Sharon Tate, but she was okay. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this film. I, I, of course, I love the ending, too. Who doesn't love that ending? This might be Tarantino's funniest film, actually. It's, it's hilarious. Like, this movie is... So hilarious. Actually, my next two also are really funny as well. But but um, I really enjoyed this film. Um, I, I, I actually watched it last night, too, to, just to finish to see where I would rank this film. And yeah, it made my number four. Um, I don't understand why some people don't like it. I, I love it. Um, but yeah, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it's my number four. I love it. Okay, my number three. All right, now my number three is another divisive Tarantino film. Um, there's actually a lot of people that don't like this movie, and I don't get it because I love it. Um, it is The Hateful Eight. Yes, I love Hateful Eight, man. Um, and this movie 
was also one. Okay, I, I think I did like it, but I did like it. But um, when I first saw it, but I uh, reviewed it for the channel, by the way, and go check it out if you haven't already. But I did say, however, that uh, in that review, I did say that it probably it probably is my least favorite Tarantino film. Well, that definitely changed. Like, I, I can't believe I said that because did I seriously like it better in Kill Bill? Um, I think at the time, because I did watch Kill Bill before that, and I, I think at the time I kind of liked Kill Bill. I think I've only seen it once before that that is. Uh, I guess I did like Kill Bill whenever I very first saw it, but then as time went on, I was like, eh, not too into it. But but Hateful Way is the complete opposite. I I loved this film, uh, you know, on the second watched. Uh, on the second watch, I loved it, and on the third watch, even more. I mean, it made my top three for Christ's sake. But I love the Hateful Way, man. It's just so awesome. And it is hilarious. This is like also one of his funniest films. Like, and yeah, um, also great cast. You know, you, of course you got Sam Jackson, Kurt Russell, Jennifer Jason Lee, um, Tim Roth, and Michael Madsen again, who are in Reservoir Dogs. Uh, they're back in this. Bruce Dern, um, even Channing Tatum is like in this for a little bit, and he's actually not too bad either. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Hateful Way. My favorite characters are probably, um, Daisy Domergu, played by Jennifer Jason Lee. And I can't remember the name of the character, but I really like Kurt Russell's character too. The hangman of, oh, oh my God, I almost had it. It's, isn't it John something? Um, John Ruth, right? John Ruth? I think that's it, yeah. I love John Ruth and Daisy Domergu. They're my favorites. And their chemistry in this movie, it's just hilarious. Um, like, I don't know. There's times wherever John Ruth is, like, really nice to her, but then but then he isn't. And it's just really funny to me. Um, they're always handcuffed to each other, too. It's, it's really funny. And... Um, yeah, they're my favorites, and of course, I love Sam Jackson and and the others that I mentioned. Even the ones I didn't even mention, like I'm, I'm just not too familiar with the actors, so I didn't say their names. But they were also very good. Um, it's just a really good and hilarious film, and yeah, I even like it better than Django Unchained. Even uh, Hateful Eight, it's it's just I love it. I don't really understand the hate for it. I um. No pun intended, but I, I love the Hateful Eight. It's just so good, and um, yeah, I, I can't believe I said that it's my least favorite Tarantino film. No, not even close. It's my third favorite Tarantino film. So yeah, Hateful Eight, my number three. Love it. All right, now we're down to the final two, and you already guessed what those two are. However, however, you might think that it's a you might think that it uh, that Pulp Fiction is going to be my number one. Well, you're wrong. Pulp Fiction is my number two. Yes, we'll get to my number one in a minute. But Pulp Fiction, um, now this was my number one for a long time. I mean, I loved this movie ever since I first saw it. You know, in fact, I think it was it was my first Tarantino film, I believe. Yeah, it was. Um, but um, I don't know. As time on, as time went on, I liked him. I like my number one. I liked my number one better. But we'll get to that in a minute. I mean, of course, you already know what it is. But but Pulp Fiction. I mean, this is the definition of an all star cast. You know, you got John Travolta, Sam Jackson again, Uma Thurman again, Harvey Keitel as as the Wolf. Yes, uh, Winston Wolf. Tim Roth again, um, Bing Grimes or Bing Grames or whatever his name is um, as Marcellus. He might be my favorite. I don't know. I, I love Marcellus in this film. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> um, Eric Stoltz and um, Christopher Walken, even though he's only in one scene, but I still like that scene a lot. And Bruce Willis. Um, it's just, oh my God, this, this film is amazing and it's hilarious. Like this is one of the funniest movies i have ever seen 
Um, like I laugh my ass off every time I see the scene with with um, Vincent Vega whenever he shoots Marvin in the face. <laughs> that scene kills me every time. It's one of the funniest movie deaths ever. And also, I love the scene whenever they're cleaning up the car, too, after he shot him. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, the Bonnie situation is actually my third. Or, it, my third. It's actually my favorite out of the three uh, stories in this. But, yeah, this movie has three different stories that, that all, you know, connect to each other. And... And um, this was the movie that made that kind of thing popular. Like a bunch of other movies did that afterwards, but this is this definitely did it the best. And I bet you, when people first saw this movie, they're probably confused because they were like, "What is going on? Why is all this happening? Uh, I mean, why is this happening out of order?" <laughs> but I like I like the idea that they did that. It, I really do. It's just so good. This is pretty much a perfect movie. Pretty much. I mean, there there is a little bit of flaws to it. So technically, it's not a perfect movie, but it almost is. Like it, it it's and it. I will be honest. It is Tarantino's best film, but it's not my favorite. Um, but it is my second favorite Pulp Fiction. However. I'll go ahead and get to my f- number one. My number one, my favorite Tarantino film. You already guessed it by now, but... And you might be shocked. Maybe you might be shocked. It's his debut. Yes, his debut film, Reservoir Dogs. Oh my god. I fucking love Reservoir Dogs so much. This is in my top f- ten favorite fi- Probably top five, honestly, favorite films of all time. I just fucking love this movie and i love everything about it um even the fact that it's kind of short that doesn't really bother me too much i I still think it's a great film and um i just love everything the story the characters i love the cast all these guys are amazing harvey Keitel, tim roth chris penn c buscemi uh, Lawrence Tierney. I love Lur- Lawrence Tierney as Joe. He, I think he's my favorite character. And Michael Madsen also. And um, and Eddie Bunker as well. And even Tarantino's character, Mr. Brown. Yeah. Um, oh, and also Stephen Wright as the, uh, as the, um, what was it? The, um, fuck, the radio DJ. What's the name of that, that station? It's like um, K. Billy Super Sound of the 70s. Yeah. Um, but this is just such an awesome film. This is a heist movie, but you don't even see the heist. This is this takes place after the heist. You don't see the heist at all. You just hear them talk about it. That is ge- that is genius. Like wow, um, that is so good. I, I like that fact. That the, I like the fact that you don't even see the heist. I mean, I think some people might be disappointed about that, but I. I'm glad we don't see the highs. I like it this way a lot. It's just so awesome. And um, it's definitely one of the best directorial debuts ever. Tarantino did a great fucking job with this film. And I just love it. Also, the soundtrack. I mean, I didn't mention the soundtrack for Pulp Fiction, but that's also very good. I like the soundtrack to that as well. I mean, most of the, his films have pretty good soundtracks. but But... Reservoir Dogs has my favorite soundtrack. I mean, of course, everyone knows um, Stuck in the Middle with You, you know, with Mr. Blonde, Michael Batson, and uh, and also, of course, the opening uh, the the opening credit scene with Lil Green Bag. I just say the opening scene of the film. I mean, I love the opening credit scene too, but the but the scene before that at the diner, amazing, like the best opening scene ever. Just because of dialogue, and it and it's like dialogue that has nothing to do with the with the story, but yet it's amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, but yeah, little green bag that was awesome, and I liked uh, even um, uh, fuck the song from Guardians of the Galaxy, the the hooked on a feeling. Yeah, when I hear that song, I don't think of Guardians of the Gal- Galaxy. I think of Reservoir Dogs when I hear that song. Um, yeah, and everything else too. It's just such a great soundtrack and it's just a great film in general. I just love Reservoir Dogs. It's like I said, it's my 
favorite Tarantino film, and it's one of my favorite films in general of all time. So yeah, Reservoir Dogs, it's my number one favorite Tarantino film, and I just, I just fucking love it. So yeah, Reservoir Dogs, number one. All right, there we go. There's my ranking for Quentin Tarantino's films, yes. Um, and again, just my personal opinions. I'm sorry that Kill Bill isn't higher, that, and I'm and I'm sorry that Inglorious Bastards isn't higher either. But but it's just my personal opinion. Anyway, so in the comments, uh, tell me what uh, what's your ranking for Tarantino's films, or just give your top five or top three or whatever, or just say what your favorite is. Uh, say what, like, if you don't want to give the ranking, just say what your favorite and least favorite Tarantino films. Um, yeah, so yeah, put that down in the comments. Also, um, do you have any recommendations for directors you want me to rank? If you do, put that down in the comments as well, and I, I will do it. Now, it might take me a while because I'll have to watch all their films, and some of them... It might because I might not be able to find them streaming. I might have to buy from, from uh, you know, I might have to buy on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever. But I I will do it, even if it's Christopher Nolan. That's a director I don't really like, but I haven't seen even close to all of his films. So you know what? I might I might be excited a little bit because I, maybe the there might be a Christopher Nolan film I'll enjoy. I, but yeah, even if it's Christopher Nolan, just anybody, any director, just put down in the comments who you want me to rank, and I will. It'll be a while, but I I will do it. Um, like like I said before, I I will do Kevin Smith and uh, David Lynch very soon, and I'm thinking about doing um, Martin Scorsese and the Coen Brothers as well. So yeah, the I already have so all of those are already on the list but anybody else you have in mind just put down in the comments i really appreciate it so yeah all right so please like and subscribe and i'll see you very soon uh i'm hopefully a, a review i'm sorry i haven't put out reviews in a while but hopefully another review but yeah anyways i'll see you i'll see you next time okay peace